<coughs> Good evening, Litecoin enthusiasts and Litecoin Foundation. As you could see, I told you yesterday that they were bringing this market down. And when I mean they, I mean the market maker. You can see his trades, 2155.12 on the buy side, the market size. And you look here, you'll see 2155.12 is embedded in here. We've seen it already as a exact duplicate of this already. So we know it's embedded in here. You can stay here and watch it. Uh, this market, see? See what they tell you? 2155.12, you see it? 2155.12. Have you people caught on yet to what's going on here that the market maker is easily manipulating Litecoin price by exerting pressure on the buyer sell side by moving his two either one of his trades either up or down in the price scale. That's how he's doing it. It's very easy to see. How the agencies can't see this. They just either don't have the experience or they're just plain stupid. And to tell you the truth, I see the CEO of Coinbase Pro pitching new products and stuff. You can't even come in and get people to be a, a buy into the products you have on your system already. Your custody for in, uh, institutional investors is closed because you got no response. These people don't trust you. Why? Because they could see this stupid manipulation on your exchange it's so easy to see I worked with these people I sat right next to them if we were looking at this market what what's this these two trades they're same exact size oh those are the market makers let's see what he's doing we calculate oh the market makers manipulating the price we're not investing in this platform you would have to be a fucking idiot but constructive criticism it, it's beyond that. This is outright crime. You can see here, whoever's manipulating the price down has put up a nice solid size wall, which we don't see in Litecoin and Coinbase Pro. A wall like this put on the sell side to keep the price from going up. Because you know why? He's been dumping it since June, since June 12th. The price has been going down since June 12th. And these fucking idiots from Coinbase that support this, Charlie Lee, oh, he's the great. Charlie is a crook. He's a criminal. All right? He did an exit scam. He dumped all over you and pulled out. He hasn't even put any money into development of Litecoin anymore. What else do you need to know? Just because you think he's an affable guy? He's a crook. He's a crook. He belongs in jail. Him and Brian Armstrong. I don't know. I, I don't understand people that trade on this stuff, man. If you can't figure out this market is just manipulated by looking at 2155.12, 2155.12, right there in front of your face. Two trades in the order book. They're there every day. Once in a while, they'll change the market size to a larger number to keep it from going up. So they put more leverage to keep the price from going up. And in this case, since the price is low, they're going to put a big trade on the bottom, which just it keeps it keeps spoofing. You see what's going on here? Can, can you figure this out? That these guys are predatory trading on this Coinbase Pro Exchange. And it involves the market maker. If anybody needs any further clearing or understanding, I can explain it to you. It's so simple. If you can't understand it, you've got to be really daft. I'd be surprised if you graduated high school. So now you can see the results of what I've been telling you all week. If you want to check the math, go check it like I showed you. Because, I, I, to tell you the truth, I don't understand why the FBI hasn't arrested these guys already for committing a internet fraud. Now, all of a sudden, all the, all the influencers were talk, telling you, oh, Litecoin's going up, Litecoin's going up. They don't even talk about Litecoin anymore. They won't even bring it up as a subject of interest. Meanwhile, the people that they convinced to get into this market, they got ripped off. They got ripped off.
I wonder how much the, the influencers got paid for this. They're the marketing. A lot of these people also work for the Litecoin Foundation, like Dan Gambardello. There's no doubt in my mind he worked for the Litecoin Foundation because he was listed on their webpage as an employee. Okay? This is really bad, people. You guys, I don't know how you can stay there and, like, I don't know. You guys need Gamblers Anonymous. You, you really do. i never seen anything like this. Oh, it's going to go up. It's going to go up. No, it's not. Why? Because the market maker is manipulating the market down. What would make you think it's going to go up? I don't understand anybody anymore. So... No need for me to get upset. I'm not in this market. I pulled out and dumped all my stuff. But to see it, to be it, uh, manipulated and not, and know it, explain it to several different agencies and see them do absolutely nothing, I'm perplexed. I don't understand. Brian Armstrong is either paying bribes to these people or Charlie Lee. Something, something's going on funny here, people. i never seen this before. All the influencers shut their mouth now about Litecoin. You don't hear nothing. Look, it's buying large chunks of it. They manipulate it down. They triggered your stop losses. Then they're going to pump up the price. And when you see the price going up, they're going to dump all the, all the coin on you. What do you think they're doing? These guys are criminals. It's so easy to figure out, but everybody sticks their head in the sand. All right, people, I'm out of here.